Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. How's it going? We are continuing to start as immortalized with the light. But um here is the cover art, I forgot to mention that. Here is the cover for Immortalized real quick. We're continuing with the light and it has helped so many people that I you know, probably that I don't know about. Uh it has helped myself you know, um, I talk about my mom a lot on this channel. I miss her very much, and sometimes my head gets into a dark place where I just want to be with her again. I just want to be in a, just in a room with her. And when I'm getting sad or depressed, I just go to my happy place, which is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a little choked up. Uh, me and her, you know, when I was 15, I don't care, I, I still snuggled my mom at the age of 15, and we used to talk a lot, we used to just joke around, uh, you know, she'd tell me stories from when she was a kid sometimes, you know, we'd just have, joke around and have a good time, or sometimes we'd just snuggle and watch TV, like literally, I will watch Hannah Montana with my mom, you know, just laying in the bed, you know, just missing those kind of days. Uh, and I imagine sometimes, like, I dream that that's happening, and we're just, just having a normal conversation. <clears throat> so songs like The Light really do help. Uh, you know, sometimes, gar what, what, what's the line? Sometimes darkness can bring you the light, something like that? Hang on. Disturbed, The Light Lyrics. Uh, oh wait, I got it. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Like, sometimes when you're in a bad place, it can show you the bright side in the end. Like for like I said, for an example, um, had my mother not passed, my brother and my sister-in-law would never have met. And then I wouldn't have my niece and nephew. I wouldn't have connected with Michelle as much as I have. I wouldn't have graduated high school. I wouldn't have reconnected with my dad. Um, as much as it hurts to be without her, I know that I'm in a better place. And I know she probably knows that too. But she knows <clears throat> that I love her very much. Whew. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little emotional because literally uh, I listened to Confessions of the Fallen watched most of Smackdown tonight and then literally got a call from my brother who is currently let's just say busy I'm not going to say exactly where he is because that's not my business to tell um, but oh man I'm just a mess but we're going to get into this before I get into emotional about it here is the light by Disturbed I have no rights to it it all goes to Disturbed so here we go and thankfully, I know this is a slower one, so it'd be easier on me. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Dang, the power, it's got me. Like an unsung melody, the truth is waiting for you to find it. It's not a bright, but a remedy, a clear reminder of how it began. Deep inside your memory, turned away as you struggled to find it. You heard the call as you walked away, a voice had come from within the silence. If it's turned an eternity. You're waiting, hope it call out again. Heard the shadow reckoning. Then you fear seen the hope you blinded. Gone as you walked away. When you think all is forsaken, listen to me now. You need never be broken again. 
Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Oy. And I forgive or try to say it isn't where you would find it. Prepare yourself for the reckoning. When when your world seem to crumble again, don't be afraid, don't turn away. But you're the one who could read and find it. Don't the hope become a memory. Challenge, don't find it. Reveal thoughts that were tucked away. See the door can be opened again. Within your darkest memories. Lies the answer if you dare not find it. Don't let hope become a memory. When you think all is forsaken, listen to me now. You need never feel broken again. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. I'll read it to you before I cut off the video, I promise. Sickening, weakening, don't let another pain perish consume your soul. Your need struck and a toughening, doesn't take a dart to rekindle the fire burning in you. Let light the fire within you. I cry right in front of you and I don't want to. <laughs> when you think all is forsaken, listen to me now. You need never feel broken again. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Don't ignore. Listen to me now. Uh, you need never be broken again. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Oh. This day and then I'll explain or I'll talk a little bit like an unsung melody the truth is waiting for you to find it it's not a it's not a a, a bright but a remedy a clear reminder of how it began deep inside your memory turned away as you struggled to find it you hear the call as you walked away a voice of calm from in the silence and from what had seemed an eternity you're waiting, hoping it will call out again. You heard the shadow reckoning. Then your fears seem to keep you blinded. You hold your guard as you walked away. When you think all is forsaken, listen to me now. You never need, you need never feel broken again. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. And this is the verse that got me right here. An unforgivable tragedy. The answer isn't, isn't where you think you'd find it. Prepare yourself for the reckoning, for when your world seems to crumble again, don't be afraid, don't turn away, you're the one who can redefine it, don't let hope become a memory. That line killed me. Don't let hope become a memory, let the shadow of the shadow pyramids your mind and reveal the thoughts that were tucked away. So the door can be opened again. Within your darkest memories lies the answer where you dare to find it. Don't let hope become a memory. Chorus again. Sickening, weakening, don't let another self repairs consume your soul. You need strengthening, toughening. It takes an inner dark to rekindle the fire burning within you. And let the fire burning within you. And then the chorus again. Don't ignore, listen to me now. You need never feel broken again. Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Alright. <clears throat> Don't let hope become a memory. I swear, if I wasn't so horrified of needles, I would tattoo that on my arm. 
because I've been through so many tragedies in my life where I'm like, what, what is the point of life anymore? It's just, it's just bad news over and over and over and over and over and over. But something like that reminds me that there is good in the world. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, without you know the passing of my mom, I would not have my wonderful sister-in-law. I would not have reconnected with my father. I would not have connected with Michelle the way I should have. Uh, I wouldn't have my nieces and nephews that I have now. Uh, I wouldn't have graduated high school. So there is hope. You just gotta hold on and if you need to cry, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> hell, I'm going to cry right in front of this camera and I really don't want to. Uh, but songs like that make me want to hold on and say, you know, there is good in the world. There, there is a bright side, you know, because, you know, I've been beat up over the years, but I'm still here. I'm still kicking ass. If I tried to give up, Michelle would probably come to my house right now and beat the holy crap out of me because I know she watches my videos. Love you, Michelle. But uh, I'm grateful to the people in my life for helping me not give up, and neither should you. If I can kick ass, all of you that are watching this can kick ass. So nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the light. I hope I did okay on this one. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Good night, guys. Sleep well. And uh, I'll see you next time. Toodles!